nanoparticles existed before nanotechnology. Every time a volcano roars, carbon nanotubes and fullerenes are formed. This happens as well when forests or oil burn. The thermodegradation of organic matter generates nanostructures. And, surprisingly, biological processes involve nanoparticles as well, such as magnetosomes, which function as bacterial compasses, or ferritin, an iron reserve. Sometimes, humans have taken advantage of nanoparticles without knowing it. A proof of this are traces of pigments found in the alveoli of 5,000-year-old mummies. Nanometric titanium dioxide, used presumably in tattoos. Nanoparticles produce spontaneously when mixing oil and natural clay. Or spontaneously when mixing of alumina silicates and metallic salts at high temperatures. Like stained glass windows in churches, where, for instance, yellow is made of nanoparticles of non-radioactive uranium oxide. NanoWiki.info